Hello, my favorite Shaq, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shaq's Conquest, Episode 12, The Sandbars. And that will be raffled off first. So I have the new guys who need athletics just following Rockfit around so that they can level up their athletics while we wait. And as you can see, they are both actually up to 18 miles an hour, which is pretty respectable, which is awesome. So if you want to be eligible for a recruit, just type something in the chat. And uh, I'm eager to hire the swordsman too, because having someone that actually comes with some combat ability was going to be really nice. Another reason I'm hiring the cheaper one first is chances are they're malnourished and they're going to need to eat uh, so that they can run at a reasonable, reasonable rate. Okay, I don't yet have enough. I wonder, can I tran- Oh, yeah! <laughs> I could transfer copper from down there to his backpack, because it there's a there's a certain pro proximity limit. That is awesome. Spooky action at a distance. Einstein would be proud. Alright, so who is the cheaper one? Not Jared, it was the uh, the other one. Ray? Okay, so this is Ray's raffle. Um, I'm going to wait until the raffle timers actually had time to go off. I am keeping an eye on the skimmers, though. But no one's uh, portraits have been glowing, a.k.a. no one's under attack just yet. After after this one, I'll I'll cut the raffle timer short and uh, go for it. Zarok, thanks for the sub. Good luck on the raffle, buddy. Make sure to type something so you're eligible. All subscribers are. What was that noise? I think it's just the windmill, wind turbine. Oh, lasers. Yeah, I'm on the boundary there. All right, Ray, you ready to join? Okay, good luck, guys. Chemo. Chemo Pipes, what do you want your name to be? And then the next, uh, at the end of the timer, I'll, I'll roll the last winner for the swordsman. So, your chosen name, sir. Uh, probably no spaces. So just chemo. That'll do. All right, cool. And you immediately started eating because you're malnourished. Uh, someone's going to need to give you their shoes. Someone's going to lose their sandal bon bonuses because I don't see any sandals for sale. So, Chemo, you fall around Rockfin to level up your athletics. You're definitely going to be the slowest. And we're going to now try to earn the remaining about 5k we need for the swordsman. Could the newbies carry Rockfin? Um, yeah, but I'm not really strength training. I want them to level up athletics right now. So it would actually be into my disadvantage for them to carry him. Because when you're carrying someone, you level up strength, not athletics. Oh, wow. These guys already filled their nodes. That was fast. Getting copper really quick. Now, here comes the other timer. We might need to buy some food at this rate. We still have a, a fair bit of food, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably want to top up. Also, oh, this skimmer's almost dead. Kind of not a problem. All right, 
The last raffle winner is... J Sharp Point. All right, I'm going to re-roll that because that's your second win. <laughs> I'll wait just a second because uh, if I don't wait, it doesn't announce it. Hey, look, there's a dying iron spider that got uh, nuked by a harpoon. That will be full of good things to sell. The harpoon person here tore up that spider as it came in. I don't mind if I do. Okay, we have enough money. And... Chaotic Snow. Congratulations. What do you want your name to be? I'll get that named for you. And at this point, I'm just running around to collect a few more uh, pieces of copper for foods. Because that is a good idea. Come on. Ruffin, where are you? So that we can feed the crew, because the crew is growing. C's? C-E-E-S? Is that your name? I just want to make sure. Because I don't see a... Uh... Okay, cool. I don't see a, uh, a plastic surgeon around here, so... Once named, can't be undone very easily. I'll get you recruited in just a sec. Grats, but rigged. Alright, here you are. You have a deal. And you started off with a ring saber of old refitted blade quality, which is actually pretty reasonably good. You came with your own boots, your own sandals, which you're going to go give to Kimo. Because I'm sure you're fast. Actually, you're not that fast. I take it back. Uh, and then everybody is going to... I'll check your stats in a second. I, I just want to buy the food. Alright, buy all that. Okay, we are topped up on food. So everybody converge on my point. And we'll get moving. And the rest of your stats here. You did not lie. You have 10 straight for all weapon. And 10 and 12 for melee defense and attack. Some athletics to start with. So you're not slow. Or as slow as everybody else. Um, someone who's really speedy... ...is gonna have to give up their, their sandals, though. So, Ruka is gonna give them to Seize. Kimo is definitely the slowest of the group. So we're gonna follow Kimo. And you are going to continue... ...the trek. Which is taking a long time, given the, uh, the sights we've seen. So these skimmers here are not that scary. We could definitely take them out. They're no big thing. But they're also very slow. They only move at 14 miles an hour, which is easy to outrun. Where are we headed right now? It's above my head. Right? I think. Current goal, head to Shobatai. Yep. It is above my head. But, yeah, our numbers swell. We are getting a proper army here. I'm very excited about this. And we've also gotten all these people prior to the big push for training, which means everybody in this group, you know, will gain the skills they need to be trained. I'm also probably going to um, hit up all of the UC cities here, all the major Stoat, Heft, and Bark as well. That way that if there's anyone to be recruited, we recruit them. If I haven't picked any weapon or armor smith yet, it would be okay if Kimo does it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, you can be our armor smith. I'm going to have to uh, write down notes. So, we already have a, a one weapon smith, trapper keeper. And uh, you can be the armor smith, because no one really... People volunteered themselves, but no one really wanted to do it. As far as I know. Fang said it'd be okay if he was, but... I don't think we're going to... We're also going to need someone to do robotics. And there's some other, like, home tasks, too. But I'm not... Ooh, some Blood Raiders on the horizon. I don't think that... Um, even the people that have... That hone their um, crafting skills, they won't be non-combat. 
Which is dangerous, because it would suck to lose... Um... Uh, to lose someone who was, you know, so invested in into weapon smithing or armor smithing or something like that. But I don't want any... I, one important facet of our society that we're trying to forge here is we don't believe in a caste system. Which means that no one is just just a worker. No one is just a warrior. You know, everybody does a little bit of everything. And let's go to hang first. See about recruiting. Now, without spoiling too, too much, uh, there's only four uh, unique named people left for us to recruit. And one of them, I'm not even certain we're going to recruit. So there's L's, and then there's three others. Um, I'm just not going to spoil it, because there's no point in spoiling it. But here is the sort of the heart of the Traders Guild. Part of the slavers, but uh, traditionally the Shek aren't really hostile with the UC. They're not the primary hostiles. Now, I do have a bit of a bone to pick with the nobles, because one of them with their shiny new crossbow decided to snipe me, which was rude. But um, that doesn't necessarily mean we, mean we go to a full-out war. That means we uh, we might just abduct one of them. So here is a UC bar, United Cities bar, and let me see about uh, any Sheck in here wanting to join up. Uh, the two Truth and Burn don't want to join. That's okay. What about upstairs? They're both human, and you are Scorchlighter. So yeah, there's no one in, in that bar that... Uh, that's going to join us. Uh, the police station won't have anyone. Weapon shop, mechanical shop, noble house. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm looking on the far far left here. What pet Yoda? Hi, buddy. Farm shop, general bar, thieves guild, barracks, traders guild HQ, bank, general storage, slave shop. Um, I could check out the slave shop. Wow, I have nine money. Yeah, I'll check out the slave shop to see if there's any Shek to free. Probably not. But we'll see. Here, buddy. That's for you. Because I can easily earn the scratch required. Who do I even talk to here? Uh, not you. Who's this purveyor of slaves? I... <sighs> There's stupid stores being manned by a guard. Oh, is this the wrong one? Oh yeah, this is the bank. Oopsie! Alright, so if you look at the cr cages... I see a sh two humans in the cages, so yeah, I don't, I don't think... Um, I don't think there's really any slaves for us here, but we'll see. Yep. Human, 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 human. They're all human. I could check the, the vendor, but the vendor's not... You know, I'm here to buy... Yeah, they're all humans. Okay, out we go. So we checked Hang. Let's go with uh, Stoat, and then Heft, and we'll end up at Shobatai eventually. Uh, Ruka got stuck. You don't want to get stuck in a slave shop. That's... Uh, oh, McNara got stuck too. Come on, keep moving, trust me. This is not a place for us to linger. Oran and uh, Poetic got super stuck. I hope th they should be able to catch up, though. They're faster. But now we're moving at 18 miles an hour, which is pretty good. That's a sprint. Oh, hello. dodge the skimmer. I'm not... We could easily beat it. I'm just not interested to 
take a leg wound or something like that, that will slow us down. I want to be out of this desert as fast as I can. Alright, so this is full group? Yeah, this is full group. And we're going to take the road up to uh, Stoat. Does this game have passions like RimWorld? Um, no. It has racial bonuses, not passions, but because we're all Shek, they don't matter. So if you mouse over things like um, laboring or farming, we have racial penalties to it. 80%. If you mouse over things like strength or toughness, we have racial bonuses to it. You know, like uh, 110%, 120%. But at the end of the day, uh, there is no passions. There's just racial benefits. Shek all have the same racial benefits. Humans have two types of humans. There's um, there is Greenlanders and there's uh, Scorchlanders, and they have their own unique benefits. And then the Hivers, there's a whole bunch of different Hivers. Um, and then Skeletons are also Skeletons. Which faction has a bounty on me? None? Yeah, I don't have any bounties. I mean, I'm being warned that I'm being assaulted, but that's about it. No, I don't look like an escape slave. Go screw yourself. I hate the Manhunters. Alright, so here we are in yet another UC city. Uh, checking the... Where are the bars? I'll just have a run as a group. Bakery, clothing shop. Oh, you know, the clothing shop might have boots. Not that I have any money, but let me check. Because they have the, if they have some sandals, I can earn some quick money, because sandals usually are pretty inexpensive. Oh, you know what? Uh, that's not it. That's a different shop. Oh, here's one of the bars. So let's hop in there. Yeah, the bounty that I had times out. Most bounties time out within 24 to 48 hours. So, not that much of an issue. Um, there's not a soul in this bar. I'm the only person here. Some people are walking in, but there's no one to recruit. Mechanical shop, ranger, slave. Uh, I see humans. I'll check in the slaves. Slaves generally aren't that expensive. Uh, barracks, weapon, farm, noble, bakery. Okay, yep. There's not much to do here other than go into the slave shop. I don't even think they have a travel shop. Right? I didn't see one. I've been poking around. All right, any Shek slaves? Yes, there is one. There is Thok. All right, let's see what he'll cost. Thok costs a thousand. All right, let's get a thousand real quick. I can do that. Chances are Thok won't um, join us, but whatever. Right, I'm just going to mine iron because it's right here. It's really, really, really convenient. And we don't need that much money. I like how they're standing on it. Um, is there more to prospect around here? Yeah, here's another mining point. So, one, two, three. And there's another one somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. One, two, three. Done. Actually, Turda, don't do it. Turda, sharp point, chemo, and seize. Follow Rackfin. So you keep gaining your uh, athletics. I'm going to run them around real quick. No, shut up. I'm not an escape slave. Go sh screw yourself. Are you really going to fight me? Because I will school you now. 
Once upon a time, I'd be scared of you, but I ain't scared now. I would win. There's, like, a whole bunch of us. We are a legion. Skimmers are a little weird. Sometimes they just don't aggro. Uh, and then... I'm not even going to do the raffle for the slave, because, like... Slaves don't get named in that way unless they choose to join you. So... I'm not going to raffle early and jinx it, because... I think the, the high likelihood is they don't even bother to join. Let's see how, see how much money I need. Uh, we will sell stuff. Oh god, I can't see anything. I think most of the shops are closed, so we're going to have to sell in the bar. This is the only, typically the, one of the only places that stay open 24-7. It's like Vegas. So we got five more and we should hit, or six more iron and we should hit our uh, our required amount. So two, four, seven. It'd be a little bit faster if it was daytime. Oh. I don't control that. It's two in the morning. Start the raffle timer again anyway? No, I think the chance of this slave joining us is super slim. Super slim. Uh, hello. Yeah, there you are. All right, though. Uh, I think that's a voice line that says he's refused to join us. He's following me around, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe he hasn't refused. But all right, let's everybody reconvene. I'll just grab the remaining iron yet to be sold, and we will head off to the next town. After I uh, sell this stuff. So everybody follow Rockfin. Rockfin goes sell the remaining iron. And we'll see if Thok actually decides to join or not. I think he's already wandered off on his own. I don't see him anywhere. Oh no, he's still here. So the, the way slaves decide is they'll like follow you around a little bit. And then um, it's just randomness. It's an RNG. It's a random number generator whether or not they choose to join. So at some point... He'll either just say, like, bye-bye, or he'll actually want to join, and it will trigger a naming thing. And we will see. But off I go. So the slowest person still is Chemo. Follow Chemo, and Chemo, you're going to run over to Heft. We're actually, given the time... Yeah, we'll run to Heft first. So is he still following us? No. He decided to leave. We we, we essentially bought his freedom. Oh no, he's still here. He's just a little slow. I'm keeping an eye on him. Finally, I'm free of those shackles. And, yeah. But I cannot stay with you, Ken. Yep. See you on the other side. Yep, he decided to just not join. That's totally fine. I figured that was going to happen. That's why I didn't raffle it. I think I think statistically it's like a 10% chance or something like that. And now he's that green dot. He likes us, but, you know, he's he's not joining us. When I was playing uh, Birth of a Hive, I actually used a mod that guaranteed that slaves joined. But I don't think that makes sense in this instance. For Hivers, it makes sense, because in Kenshi lore, um, Hivers never exist outside their society. But Shek go solo all the... Oh, hello. Shek go solo all the time. So 
it doesn't make sense that um, Shek would necessarily join other Shek because they're more independent. Hivers are more hive minded, and Shek are not. What's going to happen to him? Oh, you know, he's just going to wander off and do his own thing. I have no idea. He has his own story. In reality, like Orange Cow said, he'll despawn. He'll cease to exist. But... Alright, here's yet another. Make sure not to go into the faction throne. Alright, Heft. So Heft is, uh... Uh, does Heft even have bars? Yeah, it has one bar. Alright, let's check. And this way, I never have to swing back this way in the future once we um, do a complete recruit run. Yeah, there's no one in, in here. Alright, up to Bark. And we'll do Show Batai last. I'll, uh, I'll stream until I, I get L's. I won't end it earlier than that. So if I have to go a little over time, that's fine. To L's or high water. <laughs> I want a mod that lets you shackle slavers. You can shackle slavers. You don't need a mod for that. Just unshackle um, slaves using your lockpicking and then slap the shackles on a slaver. Problem solved. What is old village? Eh, that's ruined, isn't it? I think. Who are you? Heavy mercenaries. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is like an old um, cactus farm that has gone uh, deserted. All right. Moving on. Not interested in a cactus farm. There's also uh, other slave ports around, but I'm not stopping in the slave ports. I'm basically just uh, hopping from bar to bar. How's my food? We're low, but not zero. Our athletics are getting up there. Our slowest is 19, soon to be 20, which is a good number to be at. It might seem... I mean, I'm not bored, but it might seem a little boring to run around like this, um, going recruiting and whatnot, but it is really, really, really good for athletics training. I cannot stress that enough. Not being able to run away from your uh, assailants can be very fatal. Oh, some tech hunters. So, uh, let me talk to them. I don't think there's going to have much to say, but... Oh, they, um, no, they're bodyguards. So Tech Hunters is, um, they're sort of like anti-Holy Nation in a way, because Holy Nation has a lot of technology outlawed, and the Tech Hunters don't care, and they want tech. Uh, there's definitely some Shek. That's a Hornless Shek. And I'm going to just make sure that they're for sale before I, uh, before I try to earn the money. Yeah, there's two Shek for sale, as far as I can tell. So there is Otto, another Otto for a thousand, and Nanashi for another thousand. So, um, yeah, let me let me see about doing some day, some little, some quick labor with Rockfin. There is a copper point here for two. So let me send my two best thing and Oren to grab that. And then Rockfin here is going to go sell the animal claws. And meat. What else is there? Iron? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of iron. There's a whole lot of iron mining points here. Okay. I can also check the bar while I'm in here, too. Alright, so that's enough money for one of the slaves. And I'll check the bar for any recruits. 
Nope. Uh, sometimes it's hard to tell who's Shek when they're under the hats. I think there's just one Shek in this bar, unless you guys see another. Yeah, there's just one, and he's not recruitable. What about upstairs? No one. Okay. Can you build your own city? Yes. In fact, it's one of our goals of the series to do just that. All right, so my only chance of recruits in this town is through slavery. So let's go by Otto's Freedom and see if he joins us. By Otto. Wow, he is so deep negative stance. And he's what, upstairs? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Yoink. I'm just going to pick him up, bring him outside, because his programming might have been a little bug. Oh, he's not even conscious. Oh, no, that's just because I recently put him down. Um, all right, then everybody else, let's get mining the iron. So what do we have? Three here. So that would be one, two, and three. And then... Should be another point or two. Or not. Uh oh. Orin's under attack. Ow. Oh, what? Stupid hungry idiots. Okay. I'm gonna rally and defend. Uh, he is not even moving. I have no idea if he's going to join us or not, but he's just kind of standing there. Starving vagrants, here's a fight. I'm not, I don't want C's in, uh... Oh, we had passive on. Let me turn passive off. It's been a while since we had a fight. Let's see what the new guys can do. These uh, vagrants do have um, clubs, so I can sell their weapons for, for, for money. That's a good way to make some scratch. Because these... I mean, they're not... You know, and their pants are okay, too. They're not the starving bandits that are truly got nothing. They got a little something for us. And we do... We do outnumber them pretty pretty decently. Not all of them have equipment, only some. I'm going to be choosy about what I loot, though. Are the black armor pants rubbish? Uh, the drifter leathers? If I'm ignoring it, it's probably rubbish. Like these, th these black rag shirts? Yeah, they don't sell really at all. I can get a few cats for him. Yeah, if you see uh, these rag shirts don't have a lot of value. It's not zero, but it's not much. Shoddy grade, yeah, for like 26 cats. 26 cats. Uh, 26 cats. Yeah, it's just not, um, it's not worth picking up. This, this one, it sells for 100, I guess. So you can make the argument of picking that one up. But, iron is better. Alright, let's, uh, Oren and Fang go back to your copper node. And then you guys get back to the iron one, wherever it is. We don't need a lot of money for that last slave, so we'll be out of there pretty soon. What a... Man, the group here. And, uh, yeah, we'll be out of here in no time. Right, let me go sell this, and that will probably be enough money for that last slave. And 
and then we just have to go to Shobatai. Oh, um, sure. Yep, over a thousand. Perfect. Okay, this one's not bugged. He's, like, talking at least, unlike the first one who's mute and broken and, uh, and doesn't seem to respond. So I'm just going to count the other one as, like, just a, a broken human. Um, and then this one will do a roll for whether it joins us or not. We'll see. Oh, a posture check. Yeah, the first first lady is, is just still standing there. Okay, that's probably enough resources. I don't need anything else. Everybody regroup. Just cooking up the two raw meat from that skimmer. The good meat, because we're almost out of food. Come on now. Nanashi, you know you want to join us. Look at our crew. We rolled deep. We rolled together. Don't go off on your own. We'll see. We'll see if they join. As I said, the the, the chance is low. Yep, no, they, uh... They're not joining. Tis fine. I'm still happy to buy the freedom of uh, fellow Shaq. Even if I don't personally benefit. All right, last but not least, Shobatai. And uh, this means that we've done the full tour of basically all of the likely recruit locations of all of the United Cities in the Great Desert, and we don't really have to come back here. Oh, no, Nanashi joined. Okay, uh, hold on. Going back for you, buddy. Uh, let's run the giveaway clock, and one second, boom, and then uh, we'll have to go to a plastic surgeon to rename Nanashi. Cool. I was really not expecting that, because he, he? Yeah, he literally, like, turned around and started running the other way and was like, you know what? Change of heart. I'm joining, which is awesome. Uh, so... Kang, give up your shoes to Nanashi, and everyone's going to follow Nanashi because you are now the slowest. So, L's will make 15. That is a... We started at 9, and we're up to 15. Or, or soon, once we get to Shobatai. I am very happy about that. And just a little reminder about the raffle. Uh, all subscribers that are active in chat while that timer's up, is eligible. I have had a, a bunch of YouTube comments who are like, name someone after me, and it's like, eh, the bot doesn't work like that. I, like, literally couldn't, even if I wanted to. Who's fighting the skimmer? Outlaw farmers? Okay. I'll head over there. That gives us some free, uh, free meat from the skimmer, unless they just took it. Ow! Really? Really? Alright, fine. Yeah, you you got it, dude. You want to fight me, I will fight you. I will take your swords. Nanashi here uh, does not have a weapon, so... Would be good to get him one of the weapons of the uh, outlaw swordsman. Let's hope I don't incur any uh, serious injury here. Most of the farmers here just have junk, but they do have sandals, so... Your shoes. Hand them over. And, yes. If, if, if you're asking, I am beating people up for their shoes. But they started the fight, so... I don't have really any care about that. And I'll grab a spare pair of shoes for uh, L's once we get L's added.
Oh, who are you? Oh, don't shoot me. Oh, yeah, this is a mistake. I cannot wait to clobber you to death. Dummy. Yeah, how'd that go for you? So, so full. So foolish. Alright, so they're all dead. Or dying. Or some level of it. Oh, God. Rockfin's arm got real broken. Yeah, we took some serious, uh, serious damage in that fight. Because these, I mean, they were rebel far uh, farmers, some of them, or were swordsmen, proper swordsmen. Or not proper swordsmen, but they were, they knew how to wield a sword, so. They weren't quite the pushovers that we're used to. This one was a swordsman. Um, are we all patched up? Alright, who's slowest? 16, 17... Cool. No leg injuries. Nanashi's slowest. Nanashi lead us to Shobatai. I do... Oh, um... Let me quickly cook some food. We're down to no food here. Replace the new guy's clothes? I already have. Some of the other new guys... I, I didn't see any other armor on them. Oh, no, you have a heart protector. Do you? Yeah, you have a heart protector. Yeah, let me go do that. I failed to, to acknowledge that some of them had heart protectors. Uh, I don't actually see any other heart protectors on the rest. Just the one I looted by chance. Yeah. Yeah, no more heart protectors. As far as I could tell. All right, well, <clears throat> there goes all the dried meat, <laughs> instantly eaten, and we head to Shopatai. Ever lost? Thanks for the sub. Did the raffle go? Up? Oh, here it goes. Three, two, one. Good luck. Foolish man thing. What would you like Nanashi's name to become? Congratulations. Oh, there's another group of them. I'm going to steer clear of it. I'm just trying to get to Shobatai at this point. What is going on here? Uh, some of these idiots took tried to take on a group of Garu and got... Got totally Garu'd. So I'm going to walk in there and uh, loot the losers. So here's another heart protector for Kimo. And a better horse chopper. Done. And some meds. Uh, sharp point. Let's try to get another heart protector. Or not. Oh, yep, this one has one. And a better horse, a better weapon. And meds. And then there's some other swordsman in here, too. Oh, I'm a thief, huh? Alright. Call me a trash bag. Yep, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Enjoy flopping like an idiot. Uh, the rest of them don't really have anything good, so I'm just gonna move on. But thank you, Skimmers, or Garu, or whatever you were, for uh, absolutely massacring them. That was hilarious. And that will help pay for L's and possibly other recruits. You can call him Fooly. Got it. So, this is where we started. About ten hours ago. And change. The fateful day that Rotvin, with his no money and one arm, wandered into town. And now he's back with a crew of fourteen and growing. Ready to take on the world. Get lost, thief? Oh, I guess they still know me. <laughs> Alright, let's try someone else. I am known. Go trade somewhere else? You know what? Screw you. Rude. Is there... Is, uh... Where is Els? 
Double. Mercenary. Upstairs. Mercenary heavy. A lot's changed in the last 21 days, yeah. Well, absolutely. What's weird is, um, they think I'm a thief because I picked up a weapon that, like, I had put on the ground, and, um... Yeah, I can never trade in that shop again. I know. I, I forgot that that was the one. But let's, let's, uh... Let's try to find L's and get, get going. Oh, here's a thief fence, if I really, really, really wanted to sell stuff. Alright, here we go. I know that L's is going to need some, um... Some equipment, but... I need to feed people. Yeah, all that food just got consumed. Where is L's? Isn't he supposed to be in the bar? Where the L's is he? Let me look him up real quick. Because I think we should have seen him by now. L's is a unique recruit. Um, he's found in Chopatai. I might need to import the save. I just want to. I, I just want to hear people confirm that he should be in the town somewhere, and like in one of the bars. He could be almost anywhere in town. All right. Well, we could poke around. Who are you? Oh, thief boss. Yeah. I, uh, no, thank you. He's pretty distinct looking, so like, once I find him, it should be pretty obvious that I've found him. Barracks is one of the places, alright, I'll check there too. I also want to check if there's any, uh, Shek slaves for sale. But uh, I don't think there is. Oh yeah, they don't even have any slaves. Uh, oh god, I can't see anything. Alright, let's check the barracks. Well, he's not in the prison. Oh, there he is. He's hard to miss. As you can see, he's hard to miss. <clears throat> he's got a gravitational pull. I'm hungry. Got any food? Sure. Wait, your L's the infamous rum thief? You don't look very thief-like. L's isn't a thief. L's is just a thirsty sometimes. But the bar guards beat L's for drinking the rum. So L's gotta go drink rum from the distillery when no one's looking. No one else shares with L's like you do. Thief or no thief, I'm not turning him in. Um, relax, I'm not judging. You gotta do what you gotta do. Come work for me, and I'll give you all the food and rum you'll ever need, L's. Really? I would... Uh, I would have... Uh, let's see. I could sell my shoes for more money than your poxy bounty. You think I really care? All right. Oh, whoops. That was the wrong one. Okay, there we go. Wait, I've already paid else. Why does he keep wanting money? There we go. There we go. Here we go. Alright, I talked him into it, and now we have L's. Let me make sure that there's no other Shek in town that uh, wants to join me. Oh boy, he, he's portly, isn't he? At least he gave... Oh, and he comes with rum. Hey, you know what, L's? Uh, ah, he came with the proper uh, shoes, too. Uh, let's have him sell his rum so that we can afford to buy nice things. Because he, he he had a bunch of rum on him. He's gourmand. No, he's just a drunk. 
I love him, but he's a drunk. Now we have money. And mo with money comes food cubes. Well, not many food cubes. I didn't... I don't think I saw any other Shek in here. But I'm going to do one last check to make sure. There was definitely no slaves. Yeah, no Shek up here. I think we're, we're, we're done with all the United Cities. Uh, unless there's a Shek in the prison that we could pay a bounty for. Or someone on the rooftops of, like, the armories. He's got a lot of stealth skills, but that's not the Shek way. We're not going to be stealthing and thieving. Even though we said we we would. Uh, there's a men hunter. Let me see if there's any Shek to pay bounties on. Because every now and then you can actually have someone join this way, which is a little weird, but... Um, bail out a friend? No. Because, yeah, we would it would have to be allied, so that doesn't work. I don't know why I thought that would. Well, I think one last dip into the original bar and uh, make sure that we didn't miss anyone. And we'll be done. Yep. Double nope. I think that's the only check in here. Oh no, and the uh, mercenary. And this mercenary. Okay, yep. That's it. Well, that about rounds out the stream, my friends. We have 15 strong. And obviously, we have to make the long march home. But this is going to allow us to uh, sort of supercharge our economy. And we'll start training for combat. And we have the numbers to take on uh, quite a few people. So I'm, I'm very eager to do that. Yeah, pretty formidable group. And we just need some combat training and some athletics and strength, and we'll be good to go. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shack's Conquest, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 14th. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to all of my Twitch subscribers and Patreon patrons for supporting the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.